in just a few minutes. You think you have a bed and then you see 15 in New Hampshire, right? I know, right? <laughs> I'll take 70. Yes, thank you so much, Lene. Well, our taxes need to be filed by Wednesday, so be sure to finish that if you haven't done it yet. But meanwhile, the Obamas have finished up their taxes and the White House released their tax returns. Last year, the family had an adjusted gross income of more than $477,000. President Barack Obama and his wife, Michelle, paid more than $93,000 in federal taxes last year. They also had itemized deductions from donating 15% of their income to 33 different charities. Now, the president was paid $395,000 last year in wages. The rest of that income is from his book sales. Well, the average car owner spends seven to $1,200 a year on car maintenance and repairs. And for that kind of money, drivers want an honest, reliable mechanic. Today in Money Talks, KVU's money reporter Stacy Johnson has five tips on how to find one and to make sure you get the best work for your money. Much, Stacey. It is 728 now on your Sunday morning. Coming up in our next half hour here on Weekend Daybreak, a historic meeting for the relationship between the U.S. and Cuba, the significance and what it means moving forward. And KVU's Quita Culpepper is out there live this morning at the Statesman Cap 10K in downtown Austin. The runners are getting ready to go, rain or shine, for the biggest race of its kind in Texas. And we may have a little bit of shower activity for those runners, but I'm watching the opportunity for thunderstorms as we head into tonight. So I'm going to track it all out for you coming up. And in the Powerball lottery, the current jackpot is now a cool $40 million. If you bought a ticket and you missed last night's drawing, here are those numbers for you.